Okay, here we are in a new video, and uh, what we're going to be speaking about is what we see on the right-hand side. You've got a unit circle, and you've got this curious triangle. It's a, got a hypotenuse of 1, and look at the way it's labeled. So this video is going to be about this color-coded green segment line and this blue color-coded segment line and the way they're marked. And this video will be about why are they labeled that way. Anyway, I found this uh, on one on another level. This is a program that I wrote. I'm going to scroll up just a little. Well, I see. I'm going to scroll up just a little bit. There's the last few lines of this program. I'm not going to show you all of it, but uh, just to say this: uh, this program was written uh, in a language called Wolfram language, programming language, and uh, you can find it at wolfram.com in a program called Mathematica. The version that I'm using is 10.1. It can be bought for pretty cheap for student at a student price and uh, have another price just a little bit above that for hobbyists and uh, experimenters and uh, then they have another price about that above that for commercial use. So moving on. Uh, over here on the right I'm going to say that this presenter is a free software for a product called um, IPEVO. It is a document camera and uh, you can see my hand over there. Anyway, I'm going to move over to this uh, piece of paper so that I can show. Uh, I'm going to go full screen on this so that we can show why some of these labels can be uh, written like they're written there. Uh, okay, there we are. And I'm just going to jump in and draw a a unit triangle. Oh, I call it a unit triangle. That's not even a thing. I'm going to say that it has a unit uh, hypotenuse. So, uh, on a triangle, you can pick a base. And if I pick this unit hypotenuse as a base, it, an altitude to it would simply be a right align it at a right angle to this over to this vertex. And this would be a reference point. And this would be a reference point. And I'm going to represent this as the x-axis. And this is the y-axis. And I'm going to represent that uh, the distance along this is a measurement. A measurement of the length of this line segment with respect to a unit hypotenuse. And I'm going to call it, well, I'm going to label it with the symbol y. So this is a symbol, what we call a symbolic value. In other words, it's not a numeric value, but it still represents a value. Okay, I'm going to represent the distance along this horizontal side uh, with symbolism x. With so, this is a distance measurement with respect to a unit hypotenuse. That's a really important point. The x and y are both measured line segments with respect to a a unit hypotenuse. So this is a fraction and this is a fraction of one. Okay, so I've got my hypotenuse depicted as, as being broken into two sections. So I'm going to have to invent some symbolism for them and uh, I'm going to just arbitrarily call this hypotenuse of x. And I'm going to arbitrarily just call this hypotenuse sub, sub y. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm going to represent that this is angle theta, and I'm going to represent that this is, if this is 90 degrees here, that this angle right here is simply 90 minus theta, and that makes this theta. So now, as an aside, I'm going to say that we have, by the act of putting this altitude in here, we've now generated two more triangles. So we have a total of three triangles. We have the smallest triangle right here. We have the medium sized triangle right here. And we have the largest sized triangle right here. 
Now, a cur let me point out as an aside that uh, something very curious has happened. See this vertical side right here? It was a, a leg on the large triangle. But now, for this small triangle, smallest triangle, it's now become the hypotenuse, so it's changed roles. That's very interesting. Let's keep, uh, keep track of that. The same things happened for this medium-sized triangle. See this horizontal leg for the largest? This was a leg. This was a leg for the largest triangle. It now has converted itself for this medium-sized triangle. It's actually become... It's, it's, it went from being a leg for the large triangle, largest triangle, to being a hypotenuse for the small, to, for this medium triangle. Okay, so that's a really important uh, point to remember. Let's keep track of that. Okay, so I represent that these three triangles are all similar triangles, so this is all reduced to a discussion about geometry. And it's all about similar triangles. Okay, so in similar triangles, uh, ratios of comparative sides are the same. So let's look at the ratio for opposite over hypotenuse. For the large triangle, this is the symbol for triangle. And for the large triangle, the opposite side would look like this. It's over here. Y. It's represented by the symbol Y with respect to a unit radi uh, hypotenuse over 1. And that would be equal to, well, for the small triangle, for the smallest triangle symbol, there's a symbol for triangle. Uh, that would simply be, what would that look like? The opposite side for the smallest triangle is labeled with the symbolism uh, hypotenuse sub y and so let's the hypotenuse for the smallest triangle let's see what that would look like it's the side that's opposite the 90 degree angle here's the 90 degree angle so it'd be over here so the symbolism that represents that represents the length uh, or distance across these two reference points is represented by the symbolism y with respect to a unit radius of course so from this we get y times y is y squared equals hypotenuse sub y okay moving on the just the uh, ratio for adjacent side over hypotenuse for the largest triangle uh, let's see what the adjacent side for the largest triangle. well we already know what it is it's x with measured a uh, measurement with respect to the unit radius so x is a measurement with respect to the unit radius and that's equal to well let's see for the medium size triangle this is symbolism for triangle so let's see what it be what it would look like to be the adjacent side for the medium size triangle well, right here is the adjacent side of this triangle. This is its hypotenuse, remember. The hypotenuse is opposite this 90 degree angle. So this is the adjacent side to this medium sized triangle. And the symbolism representing the distance across these two reference points is simply hypotenuse sub x. So hypotenuse of x uh, over, now the hypotenuse for this medium triangle is simply this line segment here. And its measurement is this symbolism x with respect to a unit uh, hypotenuse. So we have x. So from this we get x times x is x squared equals hypotenuse sub x. So that's the reason why we can write x squared here and where we can put y squared there. Okay, there it is. And that's the end of this video. And that's 10 minutes. 
and please like and please subscribe thank you and uh what tune in for the next video it's going to be about the same thing but in terms of geometry uh algebra i mean trigonometry instead if you notice opposite over hypotenuse is the same thing as sine adjacent over hypotenuse is the cosine so this next video will be the same thing same exercise but with sine and cosine instead anyway please like and please subscribe thank you